is Alex. I'm a quality supervisor here at the Hershey Chocolate Factory. I was asked to be your guide today, and I can't wait to show you around. Everyone ready? Let's go. It all starts with cocoa beans, which are harvested and shipped to us from tropical regions so around the cocoa world. Beans. We sat at first they collect cocoa beans, beans to make chocolate and screen and thoroughly remove unwanted parts like pulp and bits of cacao pod. Our cocoa experts carefully select, sort, and combine beans from various countries in precise amounts to achieve that unique and consistent Hershey's flavor. The cocoa beans are like collected and chewed. And then they roast the beans. We pour the blended cocoa beans into large revolving roasters, which get extremely hot. Toasty in here, isn't it? <laughs> Next, we quickly cool the beans and feed them into a so breaking chamber, the beans. which cracks open the shells at high speed. Inside each shell are tiny pieces called cocoa nibs. Hey, a good friend of mine is waiting on the head to tell us more. Hey everyone, below the unveiling machines, which grind cocoa nibs into unsweet chocolate. Cocoa nibs have been ground down like this for thousands of years. Milling machines generate lots of heat through intense pressure and friction. The grinding turns cocoa nibs into the smooth, dark liquid used to make milk and dark chocolate. Our pressing machines squeeze the unsweetened chocolate into discs of cocoa powder, known as Hershey's cocoa. Pressing also produces cocoa butter, which we'll use later on in the process. Every day, shining tanker trucks pick up milk from local farms and line up outside our factory for delivery. Hershey is one of the only companies in the world that uses fresh milk to make milk chocolate. Fresh milk is part of what gives Hershey's milk chocolate its delicious and distinctive taste. Part of my job is to make sure all of that milk meets our high quality standards. Once it passes testing, we make sure it the milk using large batching tanks. A milk we pasteurize and condense the sweetened milk and then blend in the perfect amount of unsweetened chocolate. This is where the art of chocolate making all comes together. As the mixture cooks, it begins to form delicious little pieces that we call chocolate crumbs. And then this is the milk into white chocolate and uh, brown chocolate. that grind and refine the chocolate until it reaches a smooth, uniform consistency. Here's our friend Kiss to explain the next step of the process. We temper the milk chocolate, heating and cooling it to just the right texture and consistency. During tempering, we can mix in other ingredients, such as roasted California almonds. Next, we pour the milk chocolate into molds and send them on a bumpy conveyor ride. 
Yep, then the we send the molds through cooling tunnels like that solidify the chocolate. Take a lot of chocolate bars. Like these are Hershey bars. And this is all the chocolate. All of that fresh, delicious Hershey's chocolate goodness is finally ready to be packaged. My Hershey's milk chocolate special dog bars. Hey, don't forget about Reese's peanut butter cups. My personal favorite. Everyone has a favorite. Mine are Hershey's Kisses chocolate. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Mom. It's so sweet.